Welcome to the first part of Paper Power. Um, in this lesson I'm going to learn a standard written form to help me solve some multiplication questions. So let's look at this one here. I've got four groups with uh, 38 suites in each group. Now you know that I can uh, display that like this as a one group of 30 plus 8, another group of 30 plus 8, another group of 30 plus 8, and one more group of 30 plus 8. So you can see that in each of these four groups I've got 38, but I've just split it up so that I'm showing it as a, an amount of 10s and an amount of 1s. Now in the standard written form we're going to write one number, the bigger number, up the top, and down below it we're going to write the smaller number. And note how I'm being really careful to write one number in each box here. And the neater you are, the easier you're going to find this method. I also need to write in what I'm doing, whether I'm multiplying, uh, adding, subtracting. So obviously in this method here, I'm multiplying. Now the first thing I want to do is work out what four groups of eight would be. So you can see here are my four groups, and I'm working out what the uh, 4 times 8 would be. Now the answer is 32. I'll just write that over here. You can see that 32 is made up of 2 ones and 3 tens. So I put my 2 ones here, and you can see that this is the tens column over here, so this is where I need to put that 3. And I just put a little 3 up there. Just remember as you're writing that uh, little 3 in up here, that that little 3 actually represents 3 tens because we're in the tens column here. Right, the next thing I need to do is work out what 4 groups of 30 would be. So you can see I did my 4 times 8, now I'm doing my 4 groups of 3 tens, 12 tens. So I've got my 12 tens, now I just need to add these other tens that I put up here. 12 tens plus 3 tens is 15 tens. And you can see that that is the same as 150 plus that 2, so it's 152. So you can see in this method that I'm timesing this number here by every part of the top number. And if I've got anything uh, left over that I've carried over, I add that on. Let's try another example. Um, Let's set this one out straight away in standard written form. 24 times 5. Sometimes you'll hear um, people talking about standard written form as an algorithm. It's exactly the same things. OK, just like last time, I need to work out what five groups of 4 would be. And we know the answer is 20. And you can see that 20 is made up of no ones and two tens. So I'm going to put my no ones in here, and I'm going to carry my 2 up here, and that represents the two tens. See this is the tens column, and these are the two tens, so I write them up here. Now you know that 24 is made up of a 4 and two tens, so our next job is to work out what would 5 groups of two tens be. Well 5 groups of two tens would be 10 tens, or 100. So 10 tens plus the two tens that we carried would be 12 tens, which gives us our answer of 120. We can do a quick uh, check to, to see that we work this out correctly. Uh, we need five groups of 24, so I'll just do those quickly. A 20 and a 4, a 20 and a 4, 20 and a 4, another 20 and 4, another 20 and 4. So that was my one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. Now, this part over here where we did five groups of four is the same as going four plus four plus four plus four plus four, plus four. but you know that five groups of four is 20. Now, over here in our standard written form, we then worked out what five groups of two tens would be, or 
five groups of 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, or five groups of 20 is 100. Add them together, we get 120. Where this methods are really good is when you start dealing with bigger numbers. So let's just try one uh, three-digit number is our last one. 219 times 3. So just like with the other ones, it's really important I put one number in each box. So first of all I'm working out what are three groups of 9 and the answer is 27. I'm just writing 27 over here so you can see how I split it up. But if you are confident doing it, you can go straight into putting your seven ones there and moving your two tens up to there. Now I'm working out what three groups of one ten would be, and then I'm going to add that at the end. So that would be three tens plus the two tens, which is five tens. So I went three times one is three, plus 2 is 5. But I'm just remembering that I'm not really talking about 1, I'm talking about a 10. And I'm not really talking about 2, I'm talking about two tens up here. One but left to do. I can say to myself, what's 3 times 2? And the answer is 6. But just like I did with the other ones, I, I know it's, it's not really a 2, it's actually 2 hundreds. So that gives me my final answer of 650. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful. In our next lesson we're going to have a look at uh, the standard written form for division. And you can find that at teachertools.co.nz.